I want you to imagine this for a moment. Imagine going to bed with your life exactly as it is right now. And then the very next morning, you wake up to your ultimate dream life. The life that you decide is the pinnacle of success, the epitome of success in this world. You wake up to that. What would that be like? A fallacy? A fantasy? Far from reality, says? Yes, exactly that. And yet so many of us look at other people and their quote-unquote success and forget that there were tears, there were sleepless nights, there were self-doubts, there were fears, there were many challenging conversations that they had to have with themselves or with other people. And we have this warped perception that they just seemed to get there. Hey, I'm Leigh Kasani. I am a change facilitator and transformation coach, and I'm committed to supporting women to journey towards the next best version of themselves. And in this episode of Leigh Speaks, we are going to get real about the notion of overnight success, especially in regards to wanting to level up, improve ourselves, and also the ways that we are holding ourselves back by not embracing the journey and the path to success. Now, I've been in the realm of coaching and facilitation for over eight years. And let me tell you something. I have seen, (laughs) I have seen, I have seen, I have seen, meaning I have seen where people will just look for the next shiny object. Sis, if you are listening to me, and you have bought a gazillion coaching courses or programs, you have signed up for all the thanks, and they stay on the platforms and you haven't actually gone through them, this episode right here might be just for you. (laughs) No, I'm not attacking you. I'm not attacking you, but I'm telling you as someone who knows this from experience, we want the easy way, right? We want the shortcut. We want the fast track lane to be able to work on ourselves and improve. We want to get to the destination, whatever the destination is, without the hard stuff, without having to trudge through the muck, without having to face some hard truths, without having to get real with ourselves, without having to maybe work with a therapist to talk about our unhealed trauma, without having to do the real work. We just want things to turn around and for things to be happy and rosy. I see it a lot when ladies join our Level Up Collective and they just want the quick fix. Sis, Leginka, how do I just uh, fix my relationships or how do I be able to stop being a people pleaser or how do I? It's the how do I questions. (laughs) Yeah. They come to my inbox and they are the how do I what are the steps, Leinka? Give me the point by point framework and the map to be able to get from where I am to the point of where I want to be. Just give me the, the line. Let me just get there. And underlying that is that I don't really want to do the hard work. I don't want to face the discomforts. I don't want to go and look at my past. I don't want to have those challenging conversations with the people that I have been avoiding. I don't want to do that, but I want to get there. How? (laughs) How? Have you ever been uh, using maybe like Waze or Google Maps or Maps or whatever navigation system you might use in your um, location and you put your current location and your desired destination and you're like okay which is the fastest route (laughs) yeah which one is gonna not have the tolls or it's not gonna have the traffic or it's it's just gonna get me there yeah I just I just want to get there in the quickest time with the least friction as possible that's how we navigate our real lives 
And that's how we navigate personal development. That's how we try to navigate fixing our relationships. That's how we try to navigate getting to where we want to get to. Whatever we've decided the place is we want to get to, we approach it like it's ways or it's maps. Like there's just a shortcut. We can skip the traffic. We can just get there clean. (laughs) No scratches, no scars, just go. I'm going to be the bearer of amazing news that, you know, going through the mud, being able to work through the challenges, facing those hard conversations, having those heart to hearts, journaling through the darkness of your past, all of that stuff, the work, on the other side of that is a version of you that will be far different if you went any shortcut route. Although I must say that there is no real shortcut route, like for real, for real. But let's imagine there were. That version of you, that strength, that resilience, that insight, that wisdom, that tenacity, that, that beauty, that femininity, that, oh, all of that, she can only rise when you allow yourself and you give yourself permission to embrace all parts of your success journey instead of shrinking, instead of running away, instead of avoiding, instead of dismissing, instead of minimizing, a more whole, wholesome, grounded, resilient version of you gets to rise from that place. Hmm. From that place. And a note about looking at other people's stuff, yeah? Other people's success. I've shared on socials before. But you know when you see people's good stuff or what you decide is good, you have no idea the other side of the coin that comes with that. Meaning, what it took for them to get there. What it took for them to have that. What it took for them to achieve that what it took for them to be able to be in that place, what they had to sacrifice, what they had to let go of, what they had to release, what they had to shed. That's all part of that process. I know socials will paint the picture like, oh yeah, I got this in 60 days. Something had to give (laughs) in order for you to get whatever it is you got in 60 days. Hmm. I'm a massive advocate for embracing all parts of our journey and understanding that struggle and perseverance is part of our success story and the importance of us defining and deciding what success is to us specifically and then working towards that. While it's easy to assume that people just woke up one day and voila, they landed whatever they landed and wherever they landed and whatever they have. In reality, their stories are far more intricate. There are more layers than you get to see beyond the surface. And it's really important for us to recognize that to get to anywhere we want to get to, it's really that culmination of consistent and persistent effort, resilience, learning from challenges, dusting ourselves off from when we fall, rerouting ourselves back on course when we stray or when we take a a difficult turn or a challenging turn or even the wrong turn as it may be. So instead of envying other people's apparent overnight success, it's really important for us to appreciate the hard work the dedication, the commitment that does go into a journey and the dedication, commitment and hard work that's required of us for our journey too. Instead of wanting the quick fix, instead of wanting the next shiny course, instead of wanting the next promised shortcut, instead of thinking about it as a short sprint, but looking at growth and success and what we want as 
a marathon that's steady and consistent. And this is why I love and I shout about it that there are ladies in our collective who have been members for two years, three years, some three years plus now, which is incredible to me. Why? Because they recognize that this is the long game. So my message to you as we wrap up this episode is to embrace the process. Don't believe the hype of overnight success. It is a lie. It is a la la. And just remember that success is a lifelong expedition and you get to define what your personal success is look like.